All right, here we go. Question number 19 of 19. Last one in our college algebra, homework number two in my lab math. We've got another radical equation that I've copied down up here on my screen. Let's get started. I would like you to notice in this problem that we do have two radical uh, terms with square roots. We've got two radical symbols, but we also have this 11 that's another term. And so this problem is going to be a little complicated, okay, to say the least. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to have to take one of these square roots. I'm going to take the square root of y minus 11, and I'm going to isolate it. So the square root of y is going to come over. That's going to make it minus square root of y. And that's going to get the square root of y minus 11 all by itself. On the other side, we have 11 minus square root of y. Now that this radical is isolated, we can square to get rid of the square root. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to have to square both sides. So this one is easy. The square and the square root cancel. That's going to leave us y minus 11. But on the other side, we've got 11 minus square root of y squared which means we're going to have to multiply by itself, and that's going to indicate, uh-oh, the FOIL method. I'm going to have to FOIL this with radical terms, OMG. Here we go. Let's be careful. We've got our Y minus 11 equals, let's F it up. Let's FOIL it. 11 times 11, that is 121 on the outside. Now, I've got 11 times the square root of y. And what I'm going to do is notice that the coefficient of that square root is negative 1. That's what we multiply by 11. So negative 1 times 11, that's negative 11. And the square root of y comes with it. On the inside, again, I've got an understood negative 1 times 11. That's negative 11. And the square root of y comes with it. And then last but not least, I've got negative 1 times negative 1, which makes a positive 1. The square root of y times the square root of y is the square root of y squared. Remember, anything times itself is that thing squared. But remember, a square and a square root cancel. So really, that's going to just be y. All right, so what do we now have? We have y minus 11 equals... I've got 121. I've got some like terms, negative 11 square root of y minus 11 square root of y. That's negative 22 square root of y. And remember this last term simplified to just y. So what I would like you to notice at this point is we still have a square root. So we're going to have to isolate that square root and then square both sides again. So the 121 is going to move over and the y is going to move over. Now this is interesting. This plus y is going to become minus y and get these y's to cancel. So those y's are gone. The 121 becomes negative 121. I've already got a negative 11 over there. So what is negative 11 minus 121? That is negative 132 equals, and now this is gone and this is gone. So all I have left is negative 22 square root of y. And remember, we're trying to isolate this square root, this radical. So now I need to divide both sides by negative 22. So what is negative 132 divided by 22? That's going to be a positive 6. Negative over a negative makes a positive 6. And we now have the square root isolated, so now we can square both sides again to get rid of the square root. And we can see that y is going to be 36. Y is going to be 30. So would you like to plug that back in and check it just to make sure? I think we should. Let's do that, okay?
All right, here we go. For the check, the original problem was square root of y minus 11, that'll be 36 minus 11, plus square root of y, but y is 36, equals 11. 36 minus 11 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 36 is 6. And 6 plus 5 does equal 11. So that answer, bam, right there, that makes me happy. That checks out. Let's see if it's right in my lab math. Bam. Great. So that was complicating. I hope that was helpful, though. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.